In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top peppermint essential oil uses and how to get the most benefit from peppermint essential oil. We have six kids and we have fallen in love with peppermint essential oil. We use it on a daily basis because we have a lot of little athletes, a lot of respiratory support, pain, joints, you name it. We have found peppermint to be absolutely amazing. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Stacey Paulson and I am a health coach. I'm an essential oil educator and the mother of six awesome kids. And I am obsessed with helping people learn how to use natural solutions to save time and money and be able to reduce toxins within their home. Let me read to you the top five questions that most people ask about peppermint essential oil. They ask often, what is peppermint oil good for? And I'm going to cruise through 15 different uses and how to benefit from these oils, how to use them effectively. I will also answer, how can you apply peppermint oil directly to your skin? Is it safe to do that? Now you can, but there are some cautions, which I will teach you about. Also, how do you use peppermint oil at home? So I will demonstrate some of the uses that we do within our house. And also does peppermint help hair grow? Yes, and I'll show you how. And then lastly, um, what does peppermint do for your skin? And so again, I will answer that question because these are some really amazing ways that we can use peppermint. So you need to understand with peppermint essential oil, there's three different ways to use them. And if you're brand new to oils and you haven't watched my essential oil crash course, I will link that up for you. You want to watch this because it goes a little bit deeper into essential oils and how to use them effectively and efficiently, not just peppermint oil. And then also you can grab my beginner's guide that has some great recipes for many different things within your home. So you can use this peppermint oil aromatically. So that's breathing it in. You can just grab your bottle, put a drop in your hand. Breathe it in or breathe it straight from the bottle or put it in a diffuser, which is the most efficient way to use oil. So I have a diffuser here. You just put some water in about five to 10 drops of oil. And it really just depends on the size of the room and how intense you want that smell to be. It'll pump those out into the air and stay in the air three to four hours after it's even turned off because they're volatile chemicals. So they change from liquid to gas quickly and they're so light and airy, they stay in the air. So I love that. You can also use these topically and it's probably the the one way that we use peppermint the most is topically because it's great support for joints and muscles and all of my kids are little athletes of some sort i have my oldest son is a division one um, track and field runner and cross country runner and this is one that he uses it's great for respiratory support as you're rubbing it on your chest so when you're diluting or when you're using peppermint you want to make sure that you dilute it unless you know you don't have a sensitivity and you like that intense feeling. So you can test that out, just put a drop maybe on your neck and see how you react to it. And it's, it's always okay to dilute. So you can use fractionated coconut oil or some kind of lotion, coconut oil, olive oil to dilute that, especially if you have more of a sensitive sensitivity because peppermint is very, very intense. But I really like that intensity, especially when I'm putting on joints or muscles that are sore. And then the third way that you can use this oil is internally. And how you can know if you can use any of the oils that doTERRA has or any other brand is that you want to read the supplement fact label. If it tells you you can use it internally, then you can. Now, peppermint has been used for thousands of years, so it is one that we should be able to use. So if your bottle says not for internal use, basically you have more of a perfume. It's probably synthetic or has maybe toxins or chemicals in it that wouldn't make it safe to use internally. So those are the three ways. And if you want more details, like I said, grab that crash course, take that crash course. And then let's go through 11 different benefits right now of peppermint essential oil. And I will share what they are and quickly how you would use them for that benefit. So alertness and focus, energy. This is a common thing within our house. We're not being, we don't really consume a lot of caffeine. We don't drink coffee. And so using peppermint is kind of our counter to that. You put it in your diffuser. You can put a drop in your water bottle and drink it. You can just put a drop on your hands or on your chest and it just wakes you right up. Also, this is great for when your body feels hot. So maybe a fever or, you know, that menopausal, premenopausal thing, hot flashes. If you experience that, putting it on topically, rubbing it on can help your body to regulate temperature a lot more effectively. You can also use peppermint along with lavender for burns. So peppermint is very cooling to the skin. So putting that on, combining it with lavender, it also helps to promote the healing 
of the skin a lot faster. So if you haven't watched Lavender, I will link that also up that you can watch a little bit more about that. Peppermint is also great for memory. So if you're trying to memorize things, if you have kids in school, maybe have new things at work, uh, just things that you're trying to retain, peppermint is your go-to. Again, using it topically, you can use it aromatically, you can put it in your water, will help as you're trying to, to have more of that memory and focus. Another thing it's great for is craving. So I don't know about you, but sugar, especially in America, is an issue. So if you have cravings, sugar, or other types of unhealthy food, there have been many studies done that have shown the benefits of reducing those cravings for sugar and unhealthy fats. So putting it in the in your water, diffusing it, putting it on again are ways that you can, can do this. Also, I love that it's great for allergies. I combine it with um, lavender, and lemon and you can put it in roller bottles or in your diffuser or in veggie caps if you don't want to taste it put it those three in water drink it it is great for those seasonal 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 kind of respiratory issues that might come up this is also great for bad breath so a really simple fix for that is putting a drop of peppermint in your mouth i will oftentimes just put it on my hand right there it's like the cleanest part of your hand and you lick it and it is just a quick breath freshener, but also awake and alert. doTERRA does have these little peppermint beadlets, which I love. So they just come out. It's about a third of a drop of peppermint. I don't know if you can see that. And you put it in your mouth, bite it. The little gel coating dissolves, veggie cap dissolves. Uh, you can also pop them in your hand. Boop, and it just pops out the oil in your hand if you need a quick use of peppermint oil. Um, I used to use this at Disneyland when we were going the rise because I would get nauseous and so I would pop that, smell it, put one in my mouth and I was good to go. So if you're also, if you have any time when you're feeling nauseous, it's a great uh, support for nauseousness. You can combine that with ginger. Ginger is also another one known for helping with feelings of nauseousness. It is great for like asthma, sinusitis, opening the airways, helping um, bring more oxygen into the blood. It's a vasodilator. So that helps your veins to enlarge, to incorporate more oxygen within them. So a lot of athletes are using these. I will use this before I go running. I will rub a little bit on my chest and then I will pop one of those peppermint beadlets in my mouth. Also, if you are breastfeeding and you're trying to wean your child off and reduce the amount of milk that you're producing, peppermint can reduce the amount of um, milk that you're producing. Also, if you have a loss of smell, that peppermint has been shown as you smell that. And we're, we're familiar with what peppermint smells like. So if you're not smelling, you smell the, the peppermint oil and you imagine what it smells like and there it's smell therapy. So peppermint is a good one to use. Also, it's great for digestive support. So if you have anything digestive issues, bloating, gas, acid reflux, that you can put it on topically, rub it in. You can just put a couple drops in some water and take it. It's great um, soothing support for your digestive system. Then also any kind of like radiation exposure that you can take it in a capsule to help to minimize that, to cleanse your body of that. And then also great for emotional support. So using it aromatically in a diffuser is great for um, if you're ever feeling kind of hindered and you need to be more invigorated, feeling more um, invigoration, um, maybe you have mental fatigue that Peppermint is phenomenal for that. Now, historically, this has been used for millennia. And the, mostly it was used because it has menthol in there. That's the main chemical constituent that helps with that soothing, those achy joints, that respiratory support, like opening airways. So you kind of think of your Vicks. I know when I was younger, my mom would rub Vicks vapor rub on, hated that stuff. But it could help open your airways because of the menthol. Also, people would like use Bengay or other sprays that have menthol in them that help with soothing joints and muscles. So menthol, natural, so you don't have the negative side effects because it's naturally produced. Our bodies recognize it and can use it. It's also um, been very stimulating, like I said, for the di digestive system, cooling properties for our body. So it's been used in these ways for thousands of years. One caution is because it's so concentrated, essential oils are so concentrated that some people may not really like that sensation on their skin. So by diluting it, it doesn't dilute the um, impactfulness of the oil, it just dilutes it so it doesn't feel as intense. So just be aware of that. Now for your skin, this is great for reducing inflammation. It's great for repelling insects. You can apply it um, 
if you have any kind of redness or oil oiliness on your skin that you can actually put it right on your face. And I would say using fractionated coconut oil or putting it in your moisturizer, just be cautious around your eyes because it is so intense. You might just want to pat around your eyes as you're putting that on. You can also use it for your hair. So this is great for stimulating hair growth. Put it in your shampoo. You could put it in your conditioner. You can just put it straight, put some on your fingers and then rub it into your scalp and leave it in. This is um, amazing for your hair. Also for um, just positive emotions to help you to feel buoyant, optimistic, go ahead and put it in your diffuser. One of my favorite roller bottle blends, and I'll have a, some other blends that I will link up down below, is one that's called Pain Away. So putting lavender and peppermint and, and lemon in a roller bottle and then fractionated coconut oil. I do about 10 drops of each and you just rub it on your joints, achy parts of your body. This is just one of my favorite, favorite oils. Also, if you have head tension that comes on, that is a great relief. You can rub it on your temples. You might add wintergreen in there. You could add frankincense. Copaiba is another great one that you could put in that roller bottle if this is something you have frequently. So again, on your temples, the back of your neck is a great um, way to help relieve that tension as well as putting some on your hands and breathing it in. And then lastly, I love, let me pick one, this exfoliating sugar rub. I'll put the recipe here, but that's um, coconut sugar, a carrier oil, so like fractionated coconut oil, um, cocoa oil, coconut oil, and then some raw honey, peppermint, and wild orange. Oh, this is really amazing. It's great for exfoliating your skin, working it in, and then you just rinse it off. And you can put it on your elbows, you can put it on your feet, just a really great recipe. And like I said, if you don't have oils, I will link up below a great starter kit with the top 10 essential oils, as well as all the other things that I mentioned here, you can find them below. <music>